We are 100 seconds to midnight. That's the latest setting on the doomsday clock and it's the closest we've ever been. What this essentially means is that it takes less than two minutes for the beautiful world around us to go up in flames. Now this setting was revealed by the Science and Security Board of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. With the Ukraine-Russia war triggering also a lot of nuclear saber rattling and questions about a nuclear war, scientists have again reiterated the need to immediately de-escalate. But in this video, I'm going to tell you all about what the doomsday clock is and how it works. The simple meaning of doomsday is essentially the last day of the Earth's existence, of the world's existence. The doomsday clock essentially is one way to identify uh, and determine how close we are to the end of the world. And this is a message to the entire world. It warns the public how close we are to ending the world we live in if the factors are triggered. But essentially, if you come down to it, the doomsday clock is simply a metaphor, uh, an indicator and a reminder to people how close, how precariously close we are to ending this world. The Doomsday Clock was actually set up way back in 1947 by Albert Einstein and the University of Chicago scientists who actually helped to develop the first atomic weapon in the Manhattan Project. So the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists actually handled this clock and they move it back or forward depending on what's going on in the world at the time. So every year it's set at a different pace in consultation with its board of sponsors which includes interestingly 11 Nobel laureates as well. When the doomsday clock was created back in the 1940s at that time the biggest issue that was concerning the world was a nuclear arms race between the Soviet Union and the United States. In 1991, the clock was moved to 17 minutes to midnight. This was based on the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty signed by the Soviet Union and the United States, which seemed to signal that finally things were settling down, that there would be peace. In 2018, the clock was moved from two and a half minutes to two minutes, so a reduction of 30 seconds there, because the United States and Russia each tested their thermonuclear weapons. So in 2018, when the clock was moved to two minutes, that was the closest to go to midnight since 1953. In 2020, that's when the clock was actually moved to 100 seconds to midnight. And this was because of a number of factors, particularly the fact that the nuclear arms race was picking up and the entire nuclear landscape, and as I mentioned, the saber rattling. Since then, it's been kept at 100 seconds till now because of what's playing out in Ukraine. The Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists made this announcement that they were in fact setting it at 100 seconds to midnight in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and particularly one development on that front, Russia taking over the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Many assumed that the clock would be closer than just 100 seconds to midnight this time around because of the COVID pandemic. And scientists did say that yes, the pandemic was a tragedy, but it wasn't an existential threat. It couldn't obliterate civilization. They did, however, warn that the pandemic must serve as a wake-up call to us as a civilization. Now, according to the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, the pandemic showed essentially the lack of preparedness by governments across the world, not just one country, and also international organizations, perhaps like the World Health Organization, to deal with this kind of a tragedy, to manage nuclear weapons and climate change as well. That if we couldn't handle a pandemic well, how could we handle other mammoth issues like a nuclear arms race? And it's because of that reason that the doomsday clock stayed at 100 seconds to midnight in 2021 as well.